Hello everyone and welcome to my video on crocheting a pixel blanket. As you may see, I have a blanket of Link. Uh, I made him last year. A lot of people on me, uh, social media asked me how I did it, so this is my video on how I created it. I learnt crocheting through YouTube, through other channels, and I got the hang of it. At the start, I wasn't too good at it. Uh, the squares were really bad and really weak looking I guess and terrible. Um, another bad thing I did was start with the color black which was very difficult to see with. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the crochet squares and then I'll show you how to join them up in another video. Mind you, I'm a 22 year old guy that goes to uni and uh, so if I can do it, anyone can do it. So let's do it. Okay, to get started we need an 8-bit picture for you to make. So just go onto Google and Google 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 pictures. Uh, you can do Pokemon, any Nintendo, really gaming characters, you name it. You can get flowers, I guess. Just got to search it up. I used uh, Spreadsheet or Excel. Um, you can use them for uh, helping you find out how many squares you need. I have a, a rule of thumb of if it's got 80 or more squares uh, of that colour, you will need more wool. So about 80 squares that one roll makes. Anyway, uh, after that, uh, you need colourful wool, obviously. We need a crochet needle. I used 4.5 millimetres and, of course, a lot of patience. Okay everyone, um, I'm just going to give everything a bit of a name so you don't get confused. So uh, we see the circle in the middle, I'll call that our first circle, as shown in the steps. Um, we got first leg, second leg and third leg, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we need three of them on each side and then I call the ones that join on the outside, we call them. I call them arms. So just a bit of terminology, just in case you don't understand. We're doing them first. All right. Um, first of all, we got to make a slip knot. Sorry, not slip knot. Slip knot. So I did that before. All right. To do that, you can YouTube it as well. It's not much to it. Cross it. Cross it over. Go back. And put it through, make a knot. Alright, slip knot, big circle there, slip knot, it's gonna tighten up. If you pull it through, you've done it correctly. Do it again now. Crochet needle. Uh, we're gonna now do tighten that up nicely. Um, my grip is to go the wool over the fingers through them, and then I hold the string like that. So put that there, so it keeps it nice and tight. You just move the index finger up and down like that to make it tighter, looser. All right, so now we're gonna chain six. To make the first circle, we're going to chain six. So if you don't know what chaining is, all it is is getting a bit of string and pulling it through. One, two, three, four, five, five. Let's go through six. Uh, you can go ahead and practice that a bit more. Make sure they're nice and tight, small. I'm not trying to make it loose. So don't go when they're like. I oh know that's the top here. They're a bit. Bigger and looser. Try, try to keep it nice, nice, clean tail. Um, once you do that, uh, you can rewind, it, pause and rewind if you like, and keep practicing that. Just keep on chaining until do chain ten or eleven or twelve. Do do as many as you want. But once you've done that, you've learned how to chain six. Um, oops, sorry. Okay. So first we chain six. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I got six there. All you're going to do is get your hook through the first circle. 
and all you gotta do is grab a bit of string and pull it through both of those little circles and there you go you've made that center circle which is that in the middle okay from here we're actually going to make the first leg the first leg is actually your chain three so it's one two three okay and then from the first leg of the from the first circle it's actually different so to make the second and third leg and all the other legs, it's only the first legs that's different where you chain three. Uh, you get the string on, over like that. Now you get your hook, you put it through the center of your circle, pull the string through. Just pull a bit more string for me. And now you should have three little loops there. If you've done that, you've done it correctly. In this situation you grab a bit more string, then you pull it through the first two hoops, and then you put so now you've got two loops, and then you grab it again and do that. So now you've noticed I've made two legs. So now we do a third leg, because all of them have three legs. Do that again, grab it, pull it through the circle, do the first two, second two. Okay, so now we've made our first three legs. Now we make an arm, which is pretty easy. It's chain three. One, two, three. Alright, so now we're going to just repeat that uh, process of making three legs. So again, round through the loop, pull it through for the first two. The second two, and then you go again. That's one leg. Do it again. Second leg, third leg. Like so. Now you're going to have three. Uh, it might be just a bit out of whack. Just just slide. You can slide that down a bit, so it makes it more of a square. One, two, three. Four, five, six. All right, we'll just do the next arm. Chain three. One, two, three. Curl through. Make the first leg. Second leg. Not to second leg. Oop, pull one through there. And third leg. Sorry if it gets out of camera, it's really hard. Okay. So now I've done three. One, two, three. Just need the top one. We need two more arms. So let's do that. So chain three. One, two, three. Pardon me. Curl through the middle. Try to keep it nice and tight. Look, they're not going to be perfect straight up, just keep practicing and it just gets natural. Okay. Done that. Alright, it's looking, getting, getting used to, close to it now. So, last one is chain three, one, two, three. After that, you got to find first one on the top, which is this one here, you're just going to go through it with your needle. So this is how you finish off. So you go through the needle, grab a bit, pull it through, and pull it through that one again, and then just chain one, pull it nice and tight, and then cut her off, and you're done. Let me just cut that. I've just cut it, since you've chained it one, just pull through like that. Now it might make a little bit of a gap in there, don't worry about that, it's totally fine. It's not seeable when you join them. That's how you make a little crochet square. And now next video I'll show you how to join them. Again, it's pretty simple, crocheting. Um, thank you for watching.